Hello everyone! So, what is this? A banner review slash analysis before the banner is actually out. Jay, are you sick? No, it's mostly because the Wikipedia, or ra rather Gamepedia, managed to get the raid out on time! Whoa! Though I might actually have someone helping me for the, the, the ones that we get later on. So, yeah, um, I did not expect to be doing this video today, but, I mean, I was so dead at the, at the start of the day, but I couldn't sleep, so I was like, might as well work on this, and here we are! Anyway, let's actually start talking about it. Linda, I think it's quite obvious how I feel about her. Um, she has really a fantastic offense, surprising no one. Her problem really lies into her bulk, she has way too much res. Especially, like, the problem I feel is mostly the fact that she is a ranged cav unit. Doesn't get a boost to BST, and that really, really hurts her because... The less BST you have, the more important it is that you get the boost, essentially. Here, that would be 3 more BST, which could have been put into HP for one. And at that point, 36 HP and 16 death, you're able to sometimes tank one blow for the dragons. If you do, you can actually run, like, say, Poison Dagger, body most of the dragons since most of them are infantry. Though this is changing now, because, of course, we're getting a bunch of combos now. Uh, Grimma, um, Tiki, Grimma again, <laughs> fuck me. Um, but, yeah, uh, she can't actually deal with, I feel like, any of the, um, Red Dragon breath consistently either. Because they tend to have either attack death bond in their weapon with DC, or they hit her, her death twice, or they just can't soak the, soak up the damage. Honestly, just the fact that she is a dagger unit really hurts her. The thing that makes cavalry range units so deadly is, well, all right, one of them. If you're a mage, you you can use blade tome. And you have one of the e actually no, you have the easiest access to own and fortify cavalry or emblem, I should say, of the entire game. So you can absolutely abuse it. On the other end, if you're a bow unit, you get access to brave bow. You get access to fire sweep bow. You get a access to, I guess, even slaying bow to some extent. Depending on the character, I'm thinking mostly of Jacob when I'm saying Sling Bow. Um, and all of these are absolutely amazing. Now, what does dagger units get? They get daggers that are used mostly defensively. And here comes Lin, a glass cannon. Why? Just why? You basically give a glass cannon the class that's meant to be on a bulky unit. Why? Just fucking why? <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, this is a worse version of Lint. And she's probably the worst unit of the banner, and it really hurts me to say that, because I actually do like Lin. But, yeah. Now, if you're talking about art, I'd say she actually has the best art of the banner. Hands down. I... Camilla is a strong contender, though. Frankly, overall, like, this is the first summer banner I can actually say, without a doubt, I absolutely adore the art of it. Every character just looks fine, perfect. Like, yeah, that's not really a functional swimsuit for Lind, but it actually kind of... 
it, it's reminiscent of what her dress looks like and it looks good on her I'm all right with this it's nothing like the laundry st st just stapled on uh, stapled on tennis swimsuit for example like or Tiki's nightmare eyes or Robin's rapidly growing breasts that then dwindle back in size when it's back to Grimma, whatever. <laughs> Moving on. So yeah, she's kinda struggling. If I'm being completely honest, if you could have like a reverse brazen attack death, you'd probably run something like that, like maybe as a seal or something. Just so you can soak a hit, hit desperation, Maybe switch dagger, but it's like oh my God. that dagger is not bad, by the way. It's just very lackluster, and honestly, it's not like there is that much competition for B slot for that character. She doesn't have much bulk, so vantage is not is pretty much out of the question because of how inconsistent it's gonna be. Desperation is obviously our best B slot, uh, so. I mean, if you use that dagger, I guess you could use chill attack, chill speed, chill death, chill res in her B slot. It's fucking garbage. And even then, like, if you run just like speed smoke plus attack smoke with a dagger, just a dagger, barb shuriken by the way, you, you debuff everything anyway. So what's the fucking point of a chill skill? But it's like the best you can actually run. A breaker isn't going to do her much good because she's most likely either gonna double or get one shot. Or both, really. It's... It comes to no surprise. But yeah, let's move on to comparison. Comparison. I, I still struggle with that word. Now... This is the main reason why I say Lid is an unfortunate case. Look at Kigero, look at Lind. Oh look, Lind has three more HP. Uh, what, not Lind. Kigero has three more HP. Two more death. One more res. The six extra... Sorry, I can't count apparently. The five extra bulk that she gets into uh, against the melee matchup actually lets her tank a myriad of dragons, mostly Naui, um, and that already is a huge boon, because Naui is kind of a consistent pest in Arena. Pay as well, but you don't see her nearly as much, purely because Grimma exists. So overall, the fact that she has this bit of bulk really goes a long way, and Let's be honest here. The offense is basically the same. If you already have Spring Kigero, there is no reason to you to get Lind. But Lind is on a horse and Kigero is a flyer! Eee! Yeah. But that just makes Kigero even better. Nowadays, Trenches gets in the way. It, horses are not nearly as strong as they are. And it makes me really fucking wondering what Ayas is smoking because their game department team doesn't seem to realize just how fucking dead horses are. They are not a threat. They never were to begin with. It's only because people were unprepared and did not have it like and were trying to bait the unit. They're not meant to bait. They're meant to have a, an offense dealer to be able to deal with Reinhardt and Lynn. But as a result, Lin is the only fucking ranged horse unit with boosted BST. Of course, the most cancerous one gets boosted BST. Why not, right? This is frustrating. This is actually frustrating, but... Enough of that. <sighs> Now you might wonder why I have Raven here. Well, I've already mentioned earlier. Brave Bow, Fire Sweep Bow, Slaying Bow, th those are all amazing weapons. And archers all have access to it. So now, what's the difference between Lin and Lind? 
and Lin. <laughs> oh god, I did not expect that to be this confusing. But the difference is essentially Lin loses one attack, but gets two HP and two death. Again, she is more bulky than Lin. Oh, but on top of that, she also has Seki's blessing. So if you're you're like okay, so say you don't want a, a da you don't want like the better dagger unit, or you don't have Kigero. If you have Brave Lin, it's literally Lint, but with more options. Yes, Lin can function as a debuffer, but unless you run something extremely gimmicky as like Smoke Dagger with a um, sweep skill and Phantom Speed or something, it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Like, ever. <laughs> to do so. But, oh well. It, it is quite a shame, but at least now, we're going into good stuff. Honestly, Lin should have been a, t a Tempest Trial unit instead of getting a fourth rerun for Mass Marv. It's a free-to-play unit that can be up to that can be merged up to plus seven. Why? Anyway, Summer Tiki. So, uh, they actually kind of fucked up on the description, because apparently it has one hell of a Yu-Gi-Oh! description already. Uh, it's missing the part that it hits the lowest between Def or Res. Surprising no fucking one, but I find it kind of funny, because this weapon has four effects on it. Four fucking effects! What the shit?! It has a steady breath effect without the boosted death. It has death plus three, it has effective against dragon, and it has a plate effect. How many fucking effects can you cram into one weapon? Fuck. And I'll be completely honest here, summer breath is absolutely amazing. I really, really hope it's going to become available for both tickies. Which is very possible because, well, we all know how Berserk Armads went, and that was actually usable. Now, I know there's Summer in the, in the name, which is a bit more seasonal than Berserk, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like it's very likely to get it down the line, just like in maybe two months. We'll see. As you can see, the rate is quite low, and I should have mentioned that with Lin. Lin has 2.8% chance, so does Takumi, and uh, Tiki has 2.53%. This banner's rate are garbage. Uh, they are actually atrocious. The best rate of the banner is Camilla at 2.84%. This is why I say Lin should have been a Tempest Trial unit, because she's not that great, and Getting Death Minus actually would have hurt her a lot down the road. I feel like she was meant to be a Tempest Trial unit, but then they were like, eh, we could get more money. Yeah. Yeah. This is depressing. But the reason why I say this is because when you have three man instead of four man on the banner, the rate goes up exponentially. To give you an idea, 253% for Tiki here. That would be about 3 to 3% 3 on a 3-man banner. That would actually be bearable. Also, not having Linde means no 2 colorless. That would have been cool. Oh well. Dragon, Dragon Valor also. Pretty useful. Now... Summer Tiki has a very weird stat spread. Usually when you have 40 HP on, on uh, neutral, you have a super vein in HP. She doesn't. Usually when you have 37 death, high lined, uh, but 37 speed, that's normal. And if you have speed minus, that's supposed to be 34. Why, oh why, is that a super vein is beyond me. Ironically, she has base 4 speed on neutral, <laughs> despite that being her highest stat, outside of HP, obviously. 
but even that not by much. Yeah, uh, she is absolutely insane. She has 168 BST, which is one more than Mur, but that doesn't fucking matter. Uh, people seem to think it matters that she has that she power creeps Mur in BST, but the pro the thing is they both score the same. The, it works in BST bins. Anyone in the 165 to 169 BST still scored the fucking same, so it doesn't matter. That said, her weapon is way better than Murrah, in my opinion. It one-shots Grimma, which is absolutely amazing. Also boosts her boost death. Also gives her steady breath effect, which by the way, since she's a flyer, is insane because flyers cannot have steady breath. So you can have steady breath, DC, 16 might, 3 death, effective against dragon, and plate effect on the same fucking thing. Holy shit. She is insane. Now, how does she compare to the other two? Well, as you can see with Young Tiki and uh, younger Young Tiki. Yeah, she's, she completely breaks her in two, or three, or four. Uh, the only thing Young Tiki really has is three res and one HP over the uh, younger Young Tiki, which is kind of irrelevant in the end. And Adult Tiki, well, kind of depends, because... Uh, because that version of Tiki does have a bit more death, a bit more attack. But frankly, if you're comparing uh, which one of the three, it's pretty safe to say. Younger Young Tiki is the best right now. That breath is just all kinds of broken. Still can't believe they managed to cramp four effect in one fucking weapon. Anyway, moving on to Takumi. Oh boy, Furious boy. Um, he has a really, really underwhelming kit. But, don't let that fool you. His kit, while being kind of shit, doesn't really matter in the long run. His stat line does, and his stat line is... Oh, it, it is one of the best stat line we've ever had on an archer. Uh, I'd say Jacob is better, but purely because Bullfighter Fighter is a thing. If Bullfighter Fighter was not a thing, Takumi would be, right now, would be the best archer of the game. Why? 35-35 is amazing, but he also has bulk in death. Holy shit, mind blown. How? How rare is it that we get a physically bulky archer? Last time was actually Takumi again. And then before that was... Larisse? Oh my god, that's horrible. That's horrible. Now, I did say in my other video of my first impression that this that version of Takumi completely outclasses Bright Cordelia. Let's see why. Same attack, same speed. Two more death. But more importantly, four more health. The health here is a massive boost. Six more bulk against melee is actually insane. 60 attack does not one-shot the boy, and 60 attack for melee unit is common. So, the fact that if you have a drive death, which is a seal by the way, uh, buffing Takumi, that means you can actually tank one hit of most armored unit with Brave Bow and still be fine. Which is fantastic, because it means if you quad, you kill. And you will quad pretty easily. Now, life and death can change things up a bit, but he comes with fury, and fury is actually really solid on the on the guy. I will say though, 
you'll have to pick your your enemies carefully if you do that, or you you need to have a healer because unless you run desperation, which I honestly don't suggest I'm doing, unless you run uh, brash desperation, brash desperation would be fantastic actually. Because the thing is, if you're on Brash Desperation, and I know, I know some people are going to be like, What? Why would you run Brash Desperation? He already has so much speed! That's mostly because it's not always about speed, especially the higher you go in Arena. Let me give you an example, okay? You could have infinite speed against Murr. You are not quadding. If you have Brash Aspiration, you do quad. Even, but it requires her to have DC. So yeah, if she has DC, she gets quad. Because Brash, Asp Brash Assault will break through Great Flame, allowing you to actually quad. So even if she has Ioni Shield, she's dead because you're proccing Luna. Yeah. That is insane. And... Definitely a such he should try to run. Because he, he has like he's like at that HP uh, threshold where HP and death threshold where he can take a hit but not two. And after he take one hit, he's at like less than 25% health. So Brash Assault is actually working. We can make some pretty nifty stuff with this. And that's something that Cordelia can't do, because she is so fucking frail that there's just so many matchups that just destroys her. She just can't take a hit in general. Takumi just can't take a dragon hit, can take a, um, a good deal of armored units hit. Not all of them, but with slight support he can. And more importantly, and that's something I should have mentioned earlier, if you use him in a flyer team, you have access to goats. Goats are insane, but also you have access to 45 flyer. 45 flyer plus life and death, you have 22 death and 40 HP. You can take a hit from as high as 62 attack. No merge. Just normal death, normal HP. That's it. Takumi is a beast. And I find it kind of hilarious to see that <laughs> the girl that basically power crept Takumi at the time, well, she got power crept back. <laughs> now, I've put Inoga here just to really show the difference between um, the stat line, which makes Inoka so undesirable. <laughs> 4 death. 3 HP. That's 7 bulk. 54 attack one shot summer. She's meant to deal with armored units. She can't. She doesn't have color advantage with uh, her killer, like her armor killer bow. Which means since she has no color advantage possible, she just is not great overall. It really makes her strong. A lot. Not that I completely despise Noka, but too many armored units can hit you back, and since your death is just that awful, you can't just do anything about it. Which is really sad because she has 29 res. Look at all those points wasted in a useless stat. Uh. It's quite easy to fix her too, just like move 6 res into death. There you go. Infinitely better unit. But oh well. If you're talking about a, the best flying archer, that's Takumi. Hands down. And he's actually really solid at it. If you're talking about the best infantry archer, well not infantry archer, but just overall like archer for brave bow, fire sweep. That's Takumi. Especially Brave Bow. I really wish I could plus that him, to be honest, but... That's too rich for my blood. Tough luck. And now we're down to the last one. 
the one that I was actually hoping to see on the banner. And that actually paid off in the end. Wow. I was hoping for like four characters. One actually was there. Oh well. Camilla, what do I need to say here? She has actual bulk in death. Really good HP pool. Really good attack. Really good speed. Just really good everything in general. The one thing she struggled with is gonna be res. So dragons. Thankfully, that doesn't tend to be this big of an issue just because she has such a huge HP pool. 58 bulk in res is more than plenty to actually tank a dragon. It actually lets you tank, hit desperation, and then go wild with fucking blade tones. It is insane. Also, Draconic Aura. I, I think I said this before, but all but Spring Camilla has Draconic Aura of all of her skins. It's kind of funny. She finally got rid of that stupid cow thing that she had in her hair. She looks so much better without it. But yeah. So, as a lot of uh, as a lot of people know, uh, for the longest time I said Summer Corrin was the best blue flyer, and I did say she was finally she finally got power crept by her. Let's see how bad. Now, you might tell yourself, bulk wise, Corin is better, right? Yes and no. The 5 extra HP is extremely important here. The reason why I say this is because, yes, it is true that she is less bulky in res, but the fact that she has so much health more than makes up for it. Just basically see it like as remove 5 HP and put 5 death and res because she will. Uh, she only needs to take one hit and then you're in desperation range. So. She basically has 28 death and 24 res, compared to uh, Corrin's 22-26. Now, yes, Corrin is better in res by 2 points. Who cares? Res on Corrin has been so good that you actually want to have res minus. So... Yeah. Granted, you also want res minus on, on Camilla, so there's that. Why, you may ask? Just because dragons are much less of a threat than armored unit. Armored unit can have way, 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 way more attack than dragon units. Even at plus 10, dragon units don't tend to have much attack because lightning breath is only 12 might. So, you end up fighting dragons that basically has like 50 attack despite being plus 10 because they have to run steady breath or they have to run DC with a different breath so as a result they end up having like nothing buffing their attack attack plus 3 seal that's not good enough cost wise so people don't use that so it ends up being like Normal attack now your attack plus which ends up being 50 attack or 53 attack. I believe I might be wrong obviously but Jesus Christ 50 53 eh? that's really low even if you're res minus you can't tank that Yep, and if you add the fact that you'll have access to fury you'll have access to good old own and 45 flyer I'm sorry, it's just 39 HP, 32 death, and despite res minus, 25 res. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Also, I just want to point out, uh, just a random fact, but Camilla now has the strongest of all the... Uh, Emblem team based on a single character. She has a really good Blur Blade user. Her full team is Flyer, which means they can all have like Odin Fortifies or Goes. 
Um, one of the one of them has an abnormal death stat, which allows her to actually just run Iode, Grand Raven, TA, deal with basically any fucking archer. Uh, she also has a green and a red version. Like, it's kind of insane. It's actually a really good team now. It's really silly. It, it's also silly that the fucking character that finally power creeps Summer Corin is our Summer Onisa. <laughs> But yeah, I believe that's about it. Now, would I summon on this banner? Yeah, I would definitely summon, and I will actually summon. But that's gonna be later. I am sleepy as fuck, and I'm most likely not going to uh, record that until maybe, I don't know, 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow. Speaking of, for those who are curious, I will stream tomorrow. I usually only stream on Wednesdays, but I kind of want to just do stuff. There's been a huge up update, update, I haven't done anything for the longest time. So I have a lot of work piled up for me. I like, to give you an example, I still have the Hector and Matthew uh, GHB to do. Uh, not GHB, BHB, sorry. And yeah, I, I actually need to get on to do this. Which, ironically, I did pull a 5-star Matthew. Yay! <laughs> I'll also use a different arena uh, arena team this time around because Lecter is a actual focus. So that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I think that's, a, that's enough for me. Uh, I'm going to leave a Discord link in the description, unless I forget like I fucking tend to do all the goddamn time. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.